What's up guys? Before I even start the video, I want to hear from you guys. So, what is the weirdest gun you've ever witnessed somebody carrying? Um, I opened this up on my Facebook and the responses were hilarious. It blew my mind some of the crazy things that people were carrying. So, if you know of any weird, odd guns that you've seen somebody carry, please put it down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. And if you're carrying kind of an oddball gun, definitely uh, make a video response to this and put a link down in the comments below because I would love to see it. There were so many people commenting on my Facebook uh, page and it was really fun to hear from them. So anyways, this is the craziest gun that I ever seen somebody carry. So I met this girl and she lived in Kentucky and I talked to her and she was concealed carrying and I asked her what she had and she had <laughs> A PO8 Luger. <laughs> I'm not joking. Somebody concealed carried a World War II German PO8 Luger. These things are not cheap. I mean, I think they're what around 1,200 bucks or more, depending on the condition. So let's say, let's say 1,200 bucks. Think of all the guns that you could buy for 1,200 bucks. That would be a fantastic carry gun <laughs> over the Luger. Now I have to give her credit. I love her taste in firearms. I mean, I think the PO8 Luger is a elegant, gorgeous piece of art. I, I love the Luger and there's nothing quite like it. There's, it's just an experience that everyone should try. Uh, shooting a Luger is a special thing. They're such good guns. And for the time period, they were very revolutionary, but they can be a little bit finicky. So you got this all steel gun that is single stack that is a toggle lock. So instead of a slide, this toggle goes up and backwards. So it's kind of a weird impulse. And she carried this. Now my Luger is pretty reliable, but I have seen these things get a little bit finicky and I have no idea how it would perform with hollow points. I mean, why would I try it? <laughs> uh, so I don't know, like, would you be carrying ball ammo with it? I don't know. I mean, uh, I've never tried hollow points through a gun like this. Uh, maybe it would work fine. I don't know. But anyways, I thought that was the craziest gun that I've ever heard somebody carrying. I, I do have to say it feels phenomenal in the hands. Uh, the trigger pulls fantastic. I mean, I love this handgun. It's one of my favorite guns I own, but it would be one of the last ones I would ever carry. So anyways, I thought that was fascinating that somebody concealed carried a PO8 Luger. So what's the weirdest one that you ever heard of? Actually, you know what? If you're going to conceal carry a German handgun, I would take a P38. I mean, yeah, it's a single stack magazine and it's a heel release. But this thing is really reliable and actually pretty modern for the time periods. You know, it's a single action. And, or a single double action, you can decock it right here and carry it like that and then, or you can carry it like this and have a double action trigger pull. This would not be a horrible choice. I mean, it's heavy, it's clunky, and there's better choices, but if you're gonna pick from something from a World War II arsenal, why would you ever pick a Luger? I mean, I don't know. I love Lugers, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's one of my favorite guns, but I don't think I'd want to rely on it for, you know, protection. That's just me. So anyways, I think I made my point here. I really hope you guys uh, do some video responses. I would love to hear <laughs> from you guys down in the comments below. So anyways, I got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future. It's just a little ways out. So stay tuned. There's going to be some really cool guns on this channel. Mm -hmm.